knowing that the second wave is real, um, is this changing your return to the office, whatever that was going to look like? Our plan was already, let's set a marker several months in the future and revisit then. Um, but you know, employees do want some certainty. So I think it's important to say, we're definitely not going to reopen before X date so people can plan their lives. Um, I think it's also important uh, to communicate the policies now. And I think one thing I'll try to get through briefly, but I think it's really interesting. We're all friends. We all help each other. Um, we also compete for talent and not just um, among ourselves um, with Salesforce and Square and Twitter and Facebook. Um, and, and, and that's a microcosm like the tech industry of the whole economy, because while I don't think of us as competing very frequently with like Goldman Sachs or American Airlines, everyone's hiring more software developers. Software is becoming an increasingly important um, part of, of every single business. And uh, even if we wanted to like demand, expect, require that employees come into the office, uh, I don't know, next January or something like that, if Todd's making an offer to that same software engineer, that same marketer, the same oh. person says, hey, you can have flexibility. You can come into the office a couple of days a week and work from home, or you can just work remotely. Like you can move back to Ohio or wherever you're from, be close to family. We're not going to get that person, you know, and, and people would leave Slack. So there's a lot of game theory around this. And I think um, the chips are already on the table from a lot of really large companies um, who have already made their decision. And it's, it's, I don't know if it's impossible, but it's going to be very, very hard to walk back. Like if you, if you go down this path and 20% of your employees are remote and 50% have adjusted their, the way that they work and where they live to, to work in an environment where they're in the office a day or two a week and at home the rest, unwinding that, it's like, it's a little bit hard to imagine. So the, so, so on that note is Jack Dorsey saying employees can work from home forever. Is that a mistake? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's a domino tipping. I mean, I, I also think this we're making the right choice for us, which is we are going to let people uh, work remotely. We are going to offer flexibility. We, we still have to work through the ramifications of that. Indefinitely. But going back to, what, what's that? Indefinitely, they can yeah. work remotely? Yeah, because I don't know that we're going to be able to take it back. You know, if, if someone, if we say you're able to work remotely and you move with your family to a different state, like we can't call you up and say, hey, all right, come back to the Bay Area and buy a house. 